give them really fantastic information and then offer them more, more detail, um, ca a case study, anything more that, that is directly related to that content. This is how content works for us, right? So we have a media property like survival life or guncarrier.com or makeuptutorials.com. We send traffic to it. And then that traffic on the site goes to a bunch of different places. It might go to additional content. It might go to contests designed to get our list bigger. It might go to on-site promos designed to generate revenue and pay for the media that this costs. Um, it might go to on-site retargeting, sending people back to offers that we know that they're interested in, uh, or it might go to third-party ads, which we do run from time to time on our site. Here are some things that can help with your content. So drive leads with content upgrades. This is really cool. So when you have a resource that you're offering to people, don't give them 100% of it in the post. Give them really fantastic information and then offer them more more detail, um, ca a case study, anything more that, that is directly related to that content. And you just have a little box like this in your post that says, here, download a free checklist that will show you how to tap into this, right? And then you pop this when they click. And they opt in, and now you've got the email. Really, really great. You can use, if you're using lead pages, lead, lead pages has a thing called lead links that does this. If you're using click funnels, you can use click pops. And um, it'll do it for you without any coding. But you can also obviously have somebody do it for you. And in this case, the conversions went from 0.54%. That's somebody just, they read the content, and then they go over to the sidebar box, and they sign up, right? 785% more people opted in as a result of having the uh, content upgrade. So three simple steps. You find the high traffic pages on your site because it's better to start with the things that people are most interested in. Identify a resource that would make the content better and create it, and then just add the lead box or click pop thing to your page, and you'll start getting email addresses. A little more complicated one, that, or at least that requires a little bit more work, is refreshing and re-conversion uh, optimizing and SEOing your blog content that already exists. So in this case, you want to find the content that gets the most traffic. That's the first part. So this is our Google Analytics for Digital Marketer. So we go through and we find what, what are the posts that are getting the most traffic? And then we take the post URL and paste it into SEMrush. And if you don't pay for SEMrush, I think you can do this for free, and it will give you a limited number of results, but it'll probably give you all you need. Um, but you should own and use SEMrush because it's amazing. Um, so in this case, I took the post from Digital Marketer that had all the traffic, and I put it in SEMrush. And then uh, I sorted to tell me the highest volume of search so I want to know how many people are searching for the things that are in this post. And you found email subject lines, there's 1,600 people a month that are looking for that. And best email subject lines, there's 880. And our position in ranking for these terms on Google is position number five and number three. So you enter the post. Now I know these two things. So now I'm going to want to see what I can do with that information, right? So now I'm going to match my call to action to the search query. So I know that the search queries are email subject lines and best email subject lines. So what should my offer be? Something about subject lines and emails, right? So that's what we did on Digital Marketer site. You can see swipe our best email subject lines uh, of 2016. So we're using those search queries that are causing people to come to the post that's getting all the traffic. And then we're giving them more of what they want. Okay. So here's a couple other examples. At the end, uh, this is an end of post call to action for a free ebook and template on public relations, but actually what they really want is just the press release template, right? In this case, a slider that came out and said, newsworthy guide to inbound public relations, but make the slider say, press release template. So give them what they want based on data. And in this case, it was a 240% increase in conversions on those two, on those two um, calls to action that I just showed you. And you can see that across the board, for HubSpot, for Digital Marketer, for everybody, you see dramatic increases in conversions by doing this.